everyone, and welcome to the SpaceX Crew Dragon Simulator with Johnny Thunder. Um, so I was messing around with this thing, and I, uh, it's, this just came out the other day, it's kind of a promotion for Dragon 2. And uh, or the de demo two mission for Dragon, and now you can practice the simulator that uh, they use to manually dock the Dragon two if they got to manually dock. So uh, you have these controls on the right. You have a touchpad. Um, these controls control your roll. Uh, on the left, you got controls that control your at your like your uh, lateral axis. So like moving in the X Y. Or Z axis. Um, Q and E control forward and reverse. W A control left right. Uh, a W or A and D control left right. W S control up down. And then on this one, you want to have num locks on on your num pad, and then you use the num pad eight four five six control your uh, rolls pitch and yaw, I should say. And then seven and nine control your roll. Uh, so you can also uh, toggle these uh, area things, and then it'll change the size of the input. So if you want uh, more large controls. So initially, I thought this thing was like really hard because I was just trying to like fly it like I would like a regular thing. So I was, uh, I was doing a lot of like, just, I wasn't paying attention to any of the, the numbers. I was just trying to uh, hot dog it more or less. And, um, but what I found out is, and I was trying to do it that way and it was really hard. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, this is, this is really, this is really difficult. This is, uh. This is a very difficult thing. I was like, oh man, I, I don't think I could do this. Uh, it's going to take a long time. And then I was like, oh, this is this is like harder than landing on an aircraft carrier. Like for my first couple of tries. And then once I figured out like how you actually do it, I'm like, oh, wow, this is so easy. Like your mom could do it. <laughs> like I had the whole a whole experience of uh, whoops. Crazy. are on. Uh. are on again. So, um, it's actually pretty easy because once you get the axis is right, so like. You do, uh, oh boy, heavy there. So once you get these axes lined up, the roll and the pitch and the yaw, um, What? What's the pitch? Yeah, for some reason the indicator got screwed up here. But once you get your pitches and your yaws like totally right, you could just and as long as these are at zero, um zero like the pitch and roll will not move after you've, you've aligned it. So now that I've got zero zero for everything, uh, it'll just stay zero zero for the pitch roll. And then all you do is you do W A S D and Q and E to to hit the the, the point. 
So just make sure that all of these are blue. Uh, these will screw up sometimes, like this one glitched out because I used the large. But it's still pretty much just staying where it is. And then just make sure that this is below, I think, 40 or maybe 50. 0 0.055 or 0 0.04. can't remember which. Uh, but as long as this is blue, you're going in. All you got to do at this point is just hit this point. And... Um, And yeah, and then it's 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 not actually that difficult. Uh, I thought it was difficult at first because like I wasn't using any of these indicators, and I didn't realize like it would stop rolling and it would stop pitching and yawing when you told it to, which is just amazing. It's like perfectly balanced, basically. Or so. Once you once you have the thing, I was like, I was trying to just like hot dog it, or I just all like, I'm doing like this, I'm doing this, I'm doing, trying to get in there, doing this. This was like how I was I was trying to do it at first, and um, yeah, this is this is not how you want to do this. Like, it's very wrong. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can uh, you can uh, go ahead and give it a shot if you want, and uh, try and test your luck. And uh, I don't think it's it's like it seems hard at first, but once you figure out that you could just like line up the axes and then then do it, it's actually pretty easy. Slow down, but yeah, like this is this was why I was trying to. This is like how a carrier pilot would like try and land a a fighter on a carrier. It's something, you know, just try and uh, fight the wind more or less. But there's no wind, of course. <laughs> and just try to like line everything up visually. It just yeah, this is like not how you're supposed to fly this, as you saw. So, uh, oops, go too slow, I want to change that, that, so I was having a lot of, I was like trying to, when I was doing this, I was like, oh, I'll have, have to have large for the, the ones over here, and then, yeah, trying to get this thing in there, it's just, uh, it's not going to work, this is not how you want to do this, oops, I'm going too fast, oh, I'm going to crash, so, do not do it like that. And then I'll do it one more time just to see if I can do it really fast. I've been trying to practice, like, how fast I could do this. Because the thing is, is, like, once you got it, whoops. I should just like I should just focus on one axis at a time. So yeah, just like focus on one axis at a time. And we'll go yaw. And then Go ahead and change these to uh, that and that. Well, actually, I want this to be large. Okay, so I got two axes. No, off. So I got these two axes good. Then you just want to get the pitch good. My problem right now.
All right, so now I got the pitch roll and yaw good. Sorry about that. So this runs in a web browser. And, uh, yeah. And I just uh, switch over to light touch mode. And um, just ride it in. You want to make sure that your rate is in the blue here. So 0 0.04 meters per second. Or I guess, yeah, 42. And then you can just, uh, you just hit the button, you just hit the, hit, hit it, and yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Um, one thing you might want to see is you got, you got, Orbital spheroid Earth, and uh, and then you got you got a little Easter egg here. So there for all the flat Earthers out there. You've got um, got the flat Earth. All right, uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching the video, everyone. Um, you can, I'll leave a link in the description. You can just, you can do this on a tablet or you can do it on the PC, whichever, uh, whichever you prefer. Tablet is slightly more realistic because he's a sent that, you know, when, uh, when the, when the pilots do this, it'll just be, uh. Doug, when he when Doug does it, uh, he's just gonna use a touch screen, and uh, so if you use a tablet, then you're then you're really cooking with butter. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. Um. Yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. It like I, I had a whole experience, you know. I was like, I went from this is like insanely difficult when I was like just trying to fly it to, oh, this is this isn't so bad to, oh, this is actually pretty easy. <laughs> and uh, I, I think anyone could probably do this. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, and check it out. And uh, then we'll see uh, we'll see Americans return on American rockets soon. So uh, yeah, this is a great little promo. Never got this with the space shell. <laughs> All right, thanks.